after he was diagnosed, um, we found out that he was exposed as a young child. His father and his grandfather both worked at the SEC as uh, laggers, which is where they apply asbestos um, around the pipes. So like there's all steam pipes and things. So basically it's insulation. Uh, what they used to do was they mixed raw blue and raw brown asbestos together in a like a great big tub thing uh, with water and stuff and, and they would apply that around the pipes. His grandfather actually died in 1979, that was the year before we met. And he died from asbestos related disease. But we didn't think that his exposure and Hank's exposure would have um, combined in the same thing. Like we just didn't put those two, we didn't equate that at the, at the time. Um, but that was pointed out to us. That's where his exposure would have been. So he would have been quite young, only, I don't know, five, six, seven or something. Um, and what happened was, like they would go to work, but then when they came home, like they still had asbestos fibres all over them. So it was raw asbestos that he was exposed to.